Renée Saloud is an international fashion designer and pageant expert. She is best known for helping women look and feel their best in her lovely creations, and helping them become the queens they are. Mama Renée continuously creates and showcases the world-class designs of the Philippines, and that is what makes her the inspiring individual that she is today. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of In Love With Me where we feature inspiring individuals who will share their amazing stories. I am your host Mafe Yunon Belasco and for this series our topic is being empowered during quarantine. For this episode we have an empowered international fashion designer, actress and beyond beauty founder to motivate us and to take action. So without further ado, let's welcome the beautiful and amazing Rene Salud. Hello mama. Hi. Sobra na nata ang introduction. Baka hindi sila paniwala. Of course you are. The... Huh? How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm much Eto. better now. I get to see you. Uh, Long time, okay. Mama. Long time. It's been a while, huh? Oh, Kasi oh. You've been busy. Kasi you've been busy producing children. <laughs> Ay, nako. Yes, Mama. Don't worry. Oh. No more grandkids. Six is enough no for more. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it, it completes the whole. Anyway, it completes the whole. Uh, oh. Oh. You, have the, um, you, have the, you have the muse already, right? Yes. So okay. she will be your muse too. Yes. So with another, that, another beauty queen in the making. Yeah. If she wants. If she wants. Oh, yes. But I, right. I'm happy that there's mentors like you that will be taking care of her along the way. So speaking of that, um, guys, I've known Mama Rene, I think, since I was a child. Um, when she was <laughs> um, mentoring well, my aunt. You know, yes. long, long, yes, long time definitely. ago. Uh, so I know, mm -hmm. I know you've been busy also during this quarantine, Mama. But before that, let's rewind. Yeah, let's talk about how you became the empowered woman that you are today. Empowered woman talaga, ha? Hindi pa ako oh, oh. Talaga, ha? <laughs> But anyway, well, how did I become empowered? Well, through hard work, syempre. Mm -hmm. And... Um, well, ambition is part of it, and uh, mm -hmm. through a lot of prayers, and uh, and then I think I I I I believe that I was given the talent. So with that mm -hmm. talent uh, given by the Lord, I nurtured it, and uh, I I I tried to develop it in such a way that uh, it will be it will make me become who I am, what what I am today. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, yes, go ahead, Mama. I, okay, no, no, uh, you were saying something. No, it's okay. I, I was, I was, I want uh, you to yeah. finish, and then, okay, <laughs> and then after that, well, of course, it was hard work. Um, mm -hmm. when I started the, my career, I was, um, I was, uh, I, I know, I quit school. I was an architecture student at the time that because of, uh, you know, because of uh, poverty and mm -hmm. uh, that was the time when uh, it's had to mouth existence uh, uh, type, uh, type of my life. So mm -hmm. I decided to quit school and, uh, and, uh, and got into, into this, into this uh, passion industry because uh, it has been my dream ever since when I was still in the province. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, I think 
I was motivated well because of poverty and ambition mm -hmm. and the determination to 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 uh, to bring my uh, to help my 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 parents and my siblings to mm -hmm. I mean from from the gutters from mm -hmm. from from the impoverished uh, life we had before. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how that's that that's the that's how I become what I am. Mm -mm. And then you know you are a, a big mentor and, and an inspiration to a lot of us women. Um, of course, your family also. And to me, I think and I know and I believe that you were one of the first to be uh, noticed as a beauty queen maker, or you had the oh, eye of finding. Yeah. Well, yes. I would like to say yes, yes, very much because. Uh, <laughs> Because you know this happened. Uh, why did okay? It happened. Why? Why did it happen? Okay, when I was younger, um, I I I dreamt to be a beauty queen. I dreamt to be crowned to, as a beauty mm -hmm. queen. Um, uh, but unfortunately, I didn't have that physical beauty. I didn't have that uh, that uh, financial support. To, to beautify myself, to mm -hmm. uh, when you know those uh, factors to be beautiful, to be a beauty queen, to be to to be crowned uh, uh, was not was not with me that time. I didn't have it. In other words, so the extension of my fantasy was uh, to put in beautiful women into the beauty mm -hmm. contest arena, and mm -hmm. uh, luckily. Well, uh, what I didn't achieve, it was achieved by these women that I that I encouraged to join the contest, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. it I made I, I felt successful for doing so because uh, um, their success was my success too, and I'm very mm -hmm. lucky that I had I was able to discover uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, class A women, not only in, mm -hmm. not only physically, but morally mm -hmm. speaking and intellectually, this these mm -hmm. people are, are I would say that uh, these ladies I would say that this is uh, this they are the embodiment of what mm -hmm. a true Filipino beauty should be. You don't mm -hmm. have to speak English that well. It is not mm -hmm. the proficiency in, in English that made them win. It is what is mm -hmm. inside their brains. It what is inside between their ears that that mm -hmm. made them an intelligent woman. Uh, mm -hmm. They they well, I would say that they were not born uh, with silver spoon, but mm -hmm. but they exude that kind of look. Mm -hmm. They they have that class. They have that. Uh, that finesse, and mm -hmm. uh, they may not have perfect skin, but uh, but the totality of their beauty becomes the very the the very essence of a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. the beauty uh, I would say the epitome of a beautiful woman, physically. Mm -hmm. And what else? Mm -hmm. did, when I say that, um, I think it's it was meant to be. I mean, it's God's will. I, mm -hmm. although I prayed for it, but uh, but it comes very naturally. It comes very easily for me to to come up with winners in all the contests that uh, in all the contests that I have joined it since 1977, actually 75, mm -hmm. and then until until the the time of Marina Benepayo. I think mm -hmm. that was the last. I think it was you who the last time I dressed up in the beauty contests. No, Aya. 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 Oh, yes. Aya. And, and, Aya. There are some, and there are some still ladies who are asking mm -hmm. me to dress them up in beauty contest. So how could they refuse? I am yes. enjoying it. It's my passion. So mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. There's no That's limit. I... There's no time. There's no time. Mm -hmm. There's no, I'd say, uh, expiration. <laughs> Yes, exactly. uh -oh. and, 
And that's what I love about you, Mama. You know, you are part of our family, obviously, for Nikolai. Yes. You are sure. our sure. And, you know, you were, you were even part of my growing family. Um, yes, my, very um, much. Imagine, the, I met, imagine I met your, your, your auntie when she was still uh, a fresh graduate from, from high school. She was mm -hmm. brought to, to my shop by your Lola. And the first time I the first time I noticed about her is uh, wow I like this kind of beauty it's the typical mm -hmm. kind of Filipina the typical Ilocana beauty that mm -hmm. uh, that the other designers would notice because during those days mestizas are the in thing I mean mm -hmm. uh, some so many Filipinos have that kind of of of, of aesthetics they mm -hmm. think that anything mestiza anything that is half breed it's beautiful, but I I look beyond. I look mm -hmm. beyond the, that kind of that look. I, mm -hmm. I find I I look for something unusual, something peculiar, something something that that nobody possess. Nobody mm -hmm. possesses it except her. Very mm -hmm. distinctive type of beauty. That's how I. Mm -hmm. That's what I noticed about Desiree at that time. Mm -hmm. And when I saw you after your Australia thing, well, <laughs> I, I noticed. <laughs> I noticed that kind of vibrancy in you that you are not mestiza, that you have the typical type of Filipina beauty. And I, I believe, I, I mean, right there and then, I believe that all oh, this girl is a winner. This is a winner. <laughs> yeah, you. and uh, true enough, imagine you landed as one of the top five in the Miss World. Yes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, Tita Des, um, you know, you, we saw earlier that Mama Rene also made my gown for Bini Bini. Yes, and for the red gown. Oh, did, you, did, you, yes. did you make it to the best in lockdown that time? Um, but, I don't but remember, but I brought but it was a secret. <laughs> but it was a secret because at that time, I was not in good terms with, the, with, with Bini Bini <laughs> Filipinas. And they would not allow me to to dress up to anybody for the contest. Well, you yeah. know, because of the yes. well, because Desiree and of course you insisted that I should be doing the gown because you have the confidence mm -hmm. in me. So I, I did the red gown, I remember, and even myself, when I look at you, oh my god, this is sexy. She will be with her. <laughs> because wow. of you, you have that eye on making a woman, you know, really look uh, you well, know, well it's, it's one of the factors, lang, but still, mm -hmm. this is all. This is what I always say. It's still the 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 credit goes to the woman. It's mm. still her uh, per personality that makes a winner a winner, regardless mm -hmm. of how you put on the makeup to a woman and how expensive the gown is. But mm -hmm. if the woman is not capable of carrying it well. Uh, well, mm -hmm. you will you will never be a winner. But uh, mm -hmm. what what is nice, what I notice about myself, I can say that mm -hmm. I know how to 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 compliment the gown to the wearer. It's not the wearer yeah. who should compliment with the gown, because this is a beauty mm -hmm. contest. This is not a fashion show. You have to look for a style mm -hmm. that would fit to that kind of personality, to that kind of body to that kind of color of the skin. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so I, I I guess uh, there is a formula in coming up mm -hmm. with a gown that fits to the to the wearer, just like what mm -hmm. uh, what Desiree wore during the Miss Universe. Until now yeah. it's considered to be one of the uh, uh, the best gowns ever worn in the Miss Universe mm -hmm. contest together with Chatsila's yeah. gown. So That's amazing so Mama, you know yeah, you have, yeah. you wear many hats. You're very talented. Um, earlier, sinabi ko sa I just saw a clip of you acting in 1981. Oh, There's so many movies I appeared, but I I could hardly remember. The last time was uh, <laughs> the last time that I will will remember, and that I still remember is. Is a TBC is uh, it's uh, with Roderick Paulate for GMA Seven. It's uh, one of the base. It's a uh, com comedy. Uh, it's a sitcom comedy. Yes. And, yeah, and I I I do it not for not for for profitable reason, not 
not mm. for monetary reason, but I do it because I just love doing it. I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, of course, um, I well, I enjoyed it so much, especially if I'll be uh, if I'm noticed by the by the people wherever I go, they would mm -hmm. recognize me, and that is the the nicest part of it. But actually, mm -hmm. it was never been my dream to me to be a movie celebrity. Never, <laughs> probably, probably. Uh, I, I, what I dreamt of before was to be a host in a TV show, which I did mm -hmm. it for so long time with Umaga Kay Ganda. Some uh, one time for two years at the Unang Hirit, and uh, mm -hmm. well. Well, those are the things I really dreamt of. And, uh, mm -hmm. well, somehow it materialized naman. Mm -hmm. But to be a movie actress, not <laughs> really. <laughs> but, uh, but, it, uh, but it comes along. So, grab yes, it. Why not? Of course. Uh, Why not? Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you're one of uh, the people I really look up to when it comes to reinventing themselves. I always <laughs> see you succeed in everything that you do apart from the fashion industry, oh. um, finding beauty queens. Um, even now, you're you're keeping the beauty queens that you uh, mentored relevant too yes. with oh. doing advocacies, the Beyond yeah. Beauty. Can you share yeah. about Beyond Beauty? Okay. Oh, this Beyond Beauty is it gets started wow uh, in one of my every, you, you see what is nice about this uh, the ladies that i discovered and i i honed to be who mm -hmm. they are was they were i mean they're so grateful they mm -hmm. they show they i mean they they showed their love for me what they did was every time every birthday every day, every january 18 on my birthday they seemed mm -hmm. that they put uh, uh, they gathered together for my birthday with or with or without me knowing it. So, yeah. uh, well, one of those birthdays, uh, that was the time when Chatsi Lion was still alive, mm -hmm. uh, asked me uh, with with Dang Cecilio and uh, I think with Melanie, yeah, mm -hmm. that uh, we should come up with something relevant, something mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, this the the not necessarily a beauty queen, but somebody who was able to to achieve something has to mm -hmm. to, to to give back. And what right. what can you do that? So um, we thought of coming up with uh, with a uh, how do you say? Well, it's it's not an Charity. orphanage actually. <laughs> well, we just put Charity. together uh, charity mm -hmm. work, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, but but. One thing that they they told me right away is, Mama, we cannot we cannot have sponsors for doing this because mm -hmm. once we get sponsors, we will be mm -hmm. we will be publicized. We will elicit publicity uh, for the sponsors, mm -hmm. which we do not like yes. to do it. We would like to come mm -hmm. up with a charity work that is the real charity that char that real charity, and uh, mm -hmm. and so it started that way. And uh, uh, the, the first two years was just parang wala lang, so so. And then eventually it became a little bit serious. And then finally, uh, everybody is very much involved. At kaya I'm so happy that at least kahit papano, at our age now, mm -hmm. eh, we are here. Uh, um, we are here. Not only not for my ourselves, but for other people mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So that is how, what uh, what is all about. Uh, that is what mm -hmm. uh, Beyond Beauty is all about. And mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, this is uh, uh, every occasions every, uh, every because we we hold the the what do you call it? the reunion at least twice mm -hmm. or thrice a year, and every time. Mm -hmm. We thought of that. Everybody gets excited. Everybody wants mm -mm. to see each other, and that makes it uh, the bonding so close to one another. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, 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 I cherish this kind of 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 of, of, say, of moves yeah, that that that, mm -hmm. that they did, I, and, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it so much. 
Yeah, so, I really love it. Yes. And then, what, what is nice about it, mga beauty queens pa rin, at least, um, uh-huh. they're not only involved in charity charity works. They're only involved hmm. with with uh with with my one of my advocacies and that one is promoting mm-hmm. the philippine culture and tradition through fashion yes. so yes. every time i do fashion shows abroad to promote the philippines through fashion shows mm-hmm. they're always with me um mm-hmm. nga lang, according to generation <laughs> since, <laughs> since, the, since the generation of, of melody and then to the present mm. generation of Aya. <laughs> so <laughs> each generation has its own participation. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then, I love that. That's, that's what I enjoy. Yes. I would oh, love oh. to support, support your cause also. So let me know oh, oh. when you're next. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Because it, it, I, I believe that this is a very effective tool to promote the country. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. So and that's what I love um, about you too, Mamiya. You are not only, you know, um, of course you're in the city now, but you're always doing a lot of work in the provinces. Yeah, you're empowering yes. a lot of um, communities yes. there. Yes, yes. And uh, as I've said a while ago, my advocacy is uh, my to promoting to help in promoting the Philippines through fashion, and and uh, helping in the in the livelihood programs of these mm-hmm. women from the hinterlands, from the mountains, from the ethnic tribes. And uh, and how I do that is, of course, the usage of their weaves, which is very mm-hmm. typical of their country, of their place. And of course, uh, it becomes, it, uh, the, my show becomes unique because of their artistry. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, uh, it, and of course, I was able to help these women to, to be empowered because most of these women are are married to to their husbands or it's mm-hmm. either in the field to fight or in the field to plow fields you know mm-hmm. and they were left alone in the houses in their houses mm-hmm. and what else do they do but but uh, th- uh, with their talents they weave it and of course mm-hmm. if they have that, that that product so what else would should be what else? What other support they would they need? But of course, it has to be promoted well. And through fashion mm-hmm. shows, we were able to do it. Yes. And, uh, and I enjoy doing that. I go all over the Philippines, uh, including mm-hmm. Mindanao. That's why I have a fashion yeah. show entitled before the Mindanao Tapestry, and then mm-hmm. because the Philippine Tapestry. See the picture. Oh. Ah, yeah. That one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this this was held somewhere in abroad. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is uh, somewhere abroad. And that's what you do also. You know, go on fashion shows internationally yes. to oh, oh, promote. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh the Philip. Yeah, oh, oh. and um, I'm happy, na man, that I was able to to ano uh, to, to contribute something like that. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that alamo since since the time of Secretary of Aspiras pa noon. Mm-hmm. Then it becomes Secretary Gonzalez, then Secretary mm-hmm. Mina Gabor, and all the secretaries of the Department of Tourism. Mm-hmm. I I, mm-hmm. I work with them. And then uh, mm-hmm. until to the present, until to to Secretary Wanda Teo. And uh, mm-hmm. well, of course, it's not only the tourism uh, the tourism uh, the Department of Tourism who who brought me mm-hmm. abroad, even the, the 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 Department of Foreign Affairs, they they mm-hmm. they, they, uh, they come up also with my 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 shows uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> regarding regarding this kind of the this kind of production, and then mm-hmm. and then eventually the Filipino community itself they mm-hmm. they come up with the with that kind of shows. And they always invite me, and mm-hmm. I'm very lucky that uh, I was able to to tour around the world through fashion. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. actually, may juna kamura ko sa akin trips kasi libre lahat ng biyahe ko <laughs> because of my fashion show. And I think uh, oh, you're doing something good. Oh, so this is your reward. Well, that's one of the perks of being a fashion designer. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. But of course, so what would your advice be? Ano? What would your advice be, Mama? So to aspiring um, fashion designers, what should they do to prepare to okay. become successful? You. Yeah, actually, you know, number one, when I get into this field, I, I had a reality check for myself. I hmm. check if I really know the trade, if I like the trade. I check if I could afford to get into this kind of, of business. And mm -hmm. uh, after after so many answers, positive answers, I then I jumped into it. And then I mm -hmm. put my heart into it. I, I, I work with honesty, with passion, with love. And uh, mm -hmm. well, I, I enhanced my talents and mm -hmm. I did not rest on my laurels. Uh, I had several awards mm -hmm. before, but I didn't stop there. Awards just good for one one day for me, for one night for me. But what matters yeah. most is uh, how how are you going to to enhance? How are you going to enrich the talent? So I did not. Mm -hmm. I, I I I mean I did not stop from learning. Every time I go abroad, I see, I I check on what is, what are the possibility on how I could achieve or how can I learn mm -hmm. more about about the the fundamentals their own fundamentals mm -hmm. of fashion designing and dressmaking so mm -hmm. i learned so many things from uh, from abroad so if you want to be a fashion designer fashion design mm -hmm. I, the first thing i would say is fashion designer is hard work this is not yeah. capricho this is not a uh, social climbing people would think mm -hmm. that you're a fashion designer you're social because you're in the papers you're with the beautiful mm -hmm. people but before you become like that, before you 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 uh, uh, you get into that kind of circle of friends, you you really have to have something to, I mean, for yourself to to be proud of, and that 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 you have to you have to define who you are, and 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 uh, you have to prove to them your worth of being there. Mm -hmm. So, so I would say, uh, know yourself first. Very mm. well, very much before you get into fashion design business. And uh, mm. fashion designing is not only drawing, it's not only styling, it encompasses mm. a lot of things. You really have to know the, the, the management, you really know how to, to, to sew, to cut, you really know how mm. to, to, to put bead works at times, at times of emergencies. You know, you know, you know how to, to, to come up with with a solution of what would uh, be done to 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 a disaster like 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 in a fashion show there's some that's the, some rip off of clothes which is very accidental you know and uh, you have to know a lot of things and i would like to say that uh, and be be before you become a designer at least you have to have at least one one career that is more associated with fashion designing because uh, mm -hmm. it uh, you to to succeed in this uh, in this business it entails business acumen also you yeah. need the uh, aside from the the artist the artist in you you really have to be mm -hmm. you know you have to be well uh, well versed in arithmetic and mathematics mm -hmm. and computations. Mm -hmm. Uh oh yes. So those are you have to be a like to say. person also. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh oh, and uh, well nowadays, um, styling depends on the customers. I mean, yes. it's easier. It's easier. Uh, it's easier to design this time than before. Before, mm -hmm. before you have to make a guessing game. I mean, mm -hmm. well, good if you have your if your customer. It's dependent on your taste, but if a design, mm -hmm. if a customer is kind of picky, it's kind of well, she's got lots of whims and caprices, and you would not mm -hmm. know how to deal with 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 the kind of personality. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you, it's it's a lot, there's a lot of trial and error relationship mm -hmm. with them. Unlike now, it's very very easy to. 
to, to, to do styling for the customers because everybody has their own idea through the internet. They just bring yes. me the picture and then they showed it to me. Mm -hmm. Then I approve it. And then yeah. I just ask, and but I do some innovations. I do some uh -huh. some uh, suggestions if the uh -huh. kind of design fits to the person. Yes, exactly. So, oh, oh. Mama, what's ano yung most rewarding sa career mo? Ang ma most rewarding sa career ko. Uh -huh. Well, the most rewarding part of my career was I was able to you know to upgrade the the social status of my family. Mm. Because uh, when I, I said, well, I uh, well I have said a while ago that one of mm. the things that motivated me was to help in in uplifting the the, the social status of my family of my siblings and mm -hmm. well well that is the most rewarding part of me, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the success of my family and their, and their yes. children and their grandchildren, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I felt successful when I see them successful. Yes, that is a great uh, advocate to have because uh, yeah. not only are you an inspiration to your family, you're an inspiration yeah. to a lot of people, a lot of oh. women, you know? For me, I'm always inspired oh, by you. Nice. That's nice uh, to hear. I just see you nonstop working, nonstop, uh, you know, sharing the, ins the talent, the inspiration. Um, like that, you wear the Philippine um, sash everywhere you go. You wow. know, being, being the part of the, the yeah. tourism for the Philippines just with your career is amazing. Um, not a lot of people can really have that uh, strength or courage, but with what yeah. you're sharing, will yeah. I hope uh, other people believe in themselves because um, you know what it takes. You know what your purpose was, and that's what makes you successful. So with that, Mama, what would be your words of wisdom to everybody listening right now, to your fans, to your family? Yeah. Hi, uh, fans. To give them hope. Uh, to give them hope right now. My words you know, of wisdom, my, actually, my mm -hmm. words of wisdom is every time you do something, I always invoke the name the Holy Spirit to guide me, to give me the discernment. And it works very well. And uh, what else can I say? But uh, you really have to love who you are, your culture. Your, your, uh, you really have to know uh, your culture. Because if you do not know your culture, how, how would you be known in, the other, in other countries if you don't have that kind of... Uh, then that, that that uh, kind of personality that uh, you're you're trying to project. So if you're a Filipino, try to be more Filipinos and uh, love love your being a Filipino. Because if you if you love your being yourself, you will be loved by people. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, I think I think that is what I I was able to achieve. I was known mm -hmm. to be a Filipino designer, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, the 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 only time, the only thing, the the, the, the ultimate, I'm not only thing, the ultimate mm -hmm. advice that I could give: pray, pray, pray. Especially yes. nowadays, at this mm -hmm. time of pandemic, prayers mm -hmm. is the only answer, because nobody could do anything except. Of course, the medical fees. That's for the health, for, for the health for, uh, reason. But, but mm -hmm. for, for to 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 contain this kind of uh, this kind of virus, I think it's more mm -hmm. of uh, answered prayer that uh, would solve everything. So mm -hmm. with that, I I I hope that these uh, these things that's happening with my life, we were able mm -hmm. to develop. So solidarity among ourselves and the mm -hmm. more we feel that we should love each other and we should be mm -hmm. loved by each other and, mm -hmm. about, and and this is the time that you would feel that there's no rich, there's no poor in this kind of situation and circumstance. Yes, exactly. So, um, so I have a few questions, Mama. Um, yes. There's a question here. Who were your mentors? on oh, helping mentors. shape uh, you 
actually my how would i say it? my mentor was very unknown people i mm-hmm. i would like to say that I, I i i give credit to the first person who accepted me to be a fashion designer actually mm-hmm. i thought i was a fashion designer when i got into the to the to the company turned mm-hmm. out that i was brought to the bodega and in the <laughs> bodega i was i was asked to to identify and to to put together and to i would say the different kinds of fabrics the different mm-hmm. kinds of colors and uh, well of course uh, uh uh through through her instructions of course and her guidance mm-hmm. so i would mm-hmm. like to say that that's the first uh that's the first mentoring i received from somebody mm-hmm. <laughs> because that's the fundamental eh? uh, you mm-hmm. have to know the fabrics and the, yes. and, the and the colors and to combine mm-hmm. them well and then mm-hmm. and then uh, try to 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 characterize or analyze that kind mm-hmm. of fabric that will be used for this particular design and mm-hmm. i think the, i think for me i would give credit more to those people who who got started me in this kind of business yeah. and of course mm-hmm. i'm i am i am very uh, uh inspired from the works of the of the senior designers before like Ramon Valera, Pitoy Moreno, mm-hmm. Oriol Alonso, uh, and Farales. And I was inspired by their achievements and accomplishments. Mm-hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, in the province, we don't have that, we don't have the video, we don't have the magazine, we don't have the TV. Yeah. So the only time I could see their works was yung mga, yung mga, yung mga lumang jaryo na pinagbalutan mm-hmm. na ng mga, mga tuyo sa paleke. And I could see the pictures <laughs> I could see the pictures of their fashion shows. There was this picture nga, uh, well, it's in a calendar naman, na, uh-huh. do, uh, no, sa kal- uh, na may fashion show sila sa Seattle for the World Expo. And since wow. then on, it, uh, parang it, it was imprinted in my mind na, I, I think I'd love to have this. Parang ganun. But, but that time, yeah. ano pa ako noon, ha? high school pa lang ata ako, o grade six lang ata ako. And then, <laughs> until then, since then on, hindi na nawala sa isip ko yun. Until, until such time that I was sent to to do fashion shows sa World Expo sa Sevilla, yeah. sa Spain. Mm-hmm. So, I, alam mo, mm-hmm. when I was doing that show, I cried because, oh my God, mm-hmm. parang deja vu. But this is this yeah. what I I dreamt when I was young. And then it's happening yeah. now. So, mm-hmm. go, I can't believe this. And then, mm-hmm. really, that's why anything that happens in my life, I believe that it's God's will. Yes. Dahil wala eh. My parents could not do that for me. Anybody, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, uh, no no rich people would just pull me out and then, okay, you do this, do that. Well, mm-hmm. it happens all, all of a sudden that I will. I was asked by the government, okay, you go to, to Sevilla, Spain, and you do fashion show there. I mean, this is a, this is a dream. This is yeah. yeah a fulfillment of a dream. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else? And maraming bagay na na nag-inspire sa akin. And of course, mm-hmm. my trips abroad. I was mm-hmm. able to to make to make a lot of research works from the works of the mm-hmm. of the designers. I was able to mm-hmm. touch it. I was able to smell it. And of course, mm-hmm. and I was able to analyze and copy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so those are, the, those are the things that uh, that help me to enhance my my fashion mm-hmm. and my styles. Yes. Amazing stories, Mama. You know, okay. not only are you inspiring me, you know, with okay. your, your claiming to the universe of having oh, your wow. dreams come true. You know, this oh, yeah. is a time that, for people oh. to hear stories like this oh. you know like you and said I believe, it was really and i believe i believe kasi that i know god would be there because mm-hmm. you if you if you do something you 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 are not you you are not doing only for yourself you mm-hmm. every time every time i when i put up this shop the first thing that i have in mind was to give business to give work to these people these talent yes. people from the province and that's how I started my my shops. Mm-hmm. 
And then, of mm-hmm. course, um, what else that... Um, then, when every time I pray, of course, every, anything, any achievements or any any successful shows that I did, it's for the glory mm-hmm. of the Lord. Because yeah. it's it's really that way. Na, mm-hmm. na, 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 that it happens because it's mm-hmm. it's the Lord that that mm-hmm. work that work for you. Mm-hmm. You were just instrumental. Yes. Yeah, the vessel that does God's work, uh, God's uh, plans and his works for us. And that's the reason why he made us, right? And yes. I see uh-huh. why you're you're super successful, Mama, and super humble because your your faith is so strong. Um, I'm yes. sure a lot of uh, young girls now know you, who you are and, and um, you know, the knowledge that you have. Um, one question here is, Mama, what is the definition to you um, a beauty queen uh, woman? What 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 does it take in your eyes? In my eyes, actually, for me, there's no pattern of kind of of the kind of beauty that mm-hmm. that 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 should be that could be a winner. I mean, the all all beauties have. I mean, everybody, especially in the beauty contest, everybody's beautiful there. What mm-hmm. is uh, important there is how, how, how could you have that kind of presence that mm-hmm. you will be noticed by by the judges, by the mm-hmm. by the audience, by the people. Mm-hmm. It's not how much you enhance, or 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 how the doctor did your face that would make mm-hmm. a beautiful woman a beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that again. This is uh, kind of um, uh, would like to say sorry for the word, but it's kind of prostituted word that uh, that uh, uh, beauty. Uh, 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 no, you should be beautiful in the inside. Yes, it's mm-hmm. true. It's beautiful in the inside. It matters a lot because whatever mm-hmm. you think, whatever you have inside, it emanates uh, to, from the inside, from the outside, and then. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, but to, uh, but for me, the number one factor is you have to be outstandingly different from the rest. You have to yes. have that kind of peculiar, beautiful, uh, beautiful self. Mm-hmm. And that's how it is. For me, uh, intelligence is not gauged by the way you answer. There's so many mm-hmm. nowadays. It's not for a judge who are. Uh, uh, for 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 the neophyte judges, it's very hard mm-hmm. for them to to know what what an intelligent woman is because all the questions mm-hmm. nowadays having that high polluting uh, words uh, in their answers would sound mm-hmm. them would have the beautiful sound sound bites and they sound very right. very intelligent. But actually, if mm-hmm. you are if you are a professional judge. You would know how how, uh, how intelligent a woman if they know how to answer well with with uh, with an answer from the heart, the true answer from the heart, yes. regardless of yes. how you interpret it. Because it depends mm-hmm. on how articulate you are. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I believe- sometimes street smart ladies are more are are smarter than than the. Those those ladies from from schools. Mm-hmm. So that's right. yeah, that's how I that's how I look at a beautiful uh, beauty queen. Mm-hmm. And I love that because you focused on um, letting girls understand that yes, Q and A is difficult, but at the end of the day, when you answer a question, it's from your heart. It's your yeah. opinion. Yeah. It has to make okay. sense, of course. But it doesn't that mean you have to say these big world words all the yes. time that you don't normally use in a conversation. So, the more the I more like highfalutin, the more highfalutin words you use, the more you will not be the, the more the more the people would not understand you, and yes. that's it. Yeah. The more the more you sound fake. Mm-hmm. And I think what helps judges too is the impact of the audience, right? So if the audience it can does. understand your answer, uh-huh. then it helps judges know that, okay, this girl is genuine. 
So yeah. girls, don't beat yourself up too much on having yeah. such a perfect answer. If you know yourself, then oh, oh, you will correct. be okay. Oh. And mama you know right. You know, you know what? You know what? For me, in answering question, it would be better mm -hmm. if it's a conversational answer. Eh? In the conversational mm -hmm. way of answering the question. Yes. Not not necessarily that you as if you are you are reciting, uh, uh, you are defending uh, uh, defending your thesis in in a rebalida. It doesn't mean that way. Was that <laughs> just to be just be more conversational and be more relaxed and be more yourself? Exactly. That's how it be. Uh oh. So there you go, guys. You know, you heard it, and you I've introduced you to Mama Rene. I'm uh -huh. sure if you have any other questions or you want more advice from Mama Rene, I have it here, her Instagram, and I'll put it also in the caption. But Mama, yeah. you're more than happy to answer their uh, questions or or even the words, more words of wisdom. Uh, there's a lot of people here tuned in. Thank you, guys. Patricia Pachot, hello. Uh, hi mama ang saya saya na mga roles ni mama when you're acting uh, <laughs> I, we have have woman. <laughs> I i got star, i i mean i met her during the miss Kesson's tv yes that's that was our first encounter yeah. and and you know what i love about you is that you're always um inviting beauty queens, you know, yearly to, to join your works, to join your fashion yes. shows. Yes. I know I've traveled with you sometimes uh, judging in uh, Laguna. And, oh, you know, oh, thank yes. you for that. And, and I Patricia, love even, you. Pat even Patricia, uh, I, I yes. brought her to Paris. With oh, Joanna lucky. And, yeah, we, we had mm -hmm. fun. Oh. That's amazing. We want, I want to say hi to my mom who's always watching. Hi. She says hi, hi mama. Hi. Hello. All the way from Sydney. Is she in Australia? Yes, she's in Australia. She's watching. See Nick oh. then he's tuned in. He said hi mama. Miss Kita. <laughs> Nick, Nick is playing. <laughs> no, he's, he's he's watching. He's watching. <laughs> he's watching our interview. Uh -oh. And then to everybody else, you know, we've learned so much from Mama Rene today. I hope that you can uh, rewatch this interview because there's so much that Mama Rene shared. Uh, you know, she was very transparent and genuine with sharing her story. Um, and I know that uh, a lot of us can relate. Uh, but at, at, for this time, you will be inspired with what she's said and what she has done. And with that, guys, can speak louder than words and thank you again for tuning in in another episode of in love with me love you mama love you thank you for having me and good luck to your program of course thank you i'll see you soon thank you for watching in love with me series